Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we will see how to extract day names, day number, week number, month, quarter, and if it is leap year, how we are going to be pass a boolean values. So let's try to go ahead and jump into the practicals. Launch your Anaconda Navigator. From there, you just launch your Jupyter Lab. You'll see it here. So in the previous session, we have seen how to convert string to the dates. Now, I'm trying to execute that. And now we do have some date. Here is date data type. Now, from this, I would like to know what is the day number. So what is the day number in a month? So to get that, just try to pass your data frame dot year. So here, till here is same. From year column, we are trying to extract day number, right? To get your day number, we need to pass a function dt, then along with a day. So if you can execute this one, that will get day number in a particular month. I am trying to avoid this uh, head function here to display all the dates here, all the records. If you can see here, dt dot day, the first, second, 19, 21, and again start with one. Right. By using day function, you can get days in a month. Now, if you want to get the day number in a year, let's say, for example, if you need to pass day of year. If you pass date of year, then it will get the day number from the year. So if you can see here, 0, 9 month and first date. Right. And if you can see January here, first month is a 21st date. We can see 21st date directly here. So how we can get that day name? It's like, you know, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, like that. So we need to pass for that weekday underscore name. See here, if you pass weekday underscore name, that will get your day name. Let's say 2018, September 1st. If you can see the calendar here, 2018, September 1st would be Saturday. See here, it is Saturday. And second is Sunday. So 19th would be Wednesday. See here, it will display Wednesday. So like this, you'll get your weekday name. So how to get a month number? To get the month number, we need to pass month here. See here, you can, you can get a month number. Now, how to get a week? Week of year. So this, this will display the week of year. See here, this is my, the first one is 35 week of my year. If you can see here, third record is nothing but this one is going to be my third week. So this is how you can go ahead and get your week of year. Now, how to display a quarter? To display a quarter, you need to pass quarter here. See here, ninth month would be my third quarter. If you can see here, 10th month would be fourth quarter. And if you can see here, if you can see here, fourth month would be, fourth month would be second quarter. And first month would be in first quarter. So this is how you can get a quarter here. Now, let's say for example, if you want to know whether the year is going to be a leap year or not. So there is a function for that is leap underscore year. If you pass is leap underscore year, that will display, if it is a leap year, that will display for, sorry, if it is leap year, that will display true, else it will display false, right? If you can see here for the fifth record, 2008 would be a leap year. That's why it is displaying as true. And 2012, would be a leap year. That's why seventh record will be displaying as true, right? 
if you want to pass this is lipid or not to a new column. So we can do that by passing leap year equal to, you can pass this one. So all the values will go ahead and assign to the new column leap year. So once you just assign, we can pass all those values to the column score cells with a new column. Then you can display your data frame. Just execute it and see here. Here, is that leap year or not? If it is display false, that simply denotes it's not a leap year. Right, this is how we can display a leap year. Right, so I'm trying to re-executing, re-importing my uh, data frame. Now we can see whether it is the date is going to be month start date or not. If it is month start date, then that will display true as it will display false. See here, the very first record is zero one, would be my month start date. And if you can see fourth one, this one would be my month start date. So rest of the records are false. Now, in the same way, month end also. See here, I do not have any records with month end. Let's say I'm trying to uh, saving this one with the three, 30 first, I think 30 only for the September. So just trying to save it and re-import your data frame. Now, if you can execute month end, that will display for zero record as true. So this is how we are going to be extract values from a date column. Thank you.